Hi guys, CMAG here. We're back in VTOL VR. Doing a quick little video today. It's gonna attempt an ILS landing. Something I'm familiar with in concept, but I've never done in practice in VTOL VR. So I figured we'd give it a shot and uh, see if we can put it together. ILS stands for Instrument Landing System. It's a system that helps to guide aircraft into the airfield for landing in uh, inclement weather, like we're having out here today or in extremely low visibility conditions. Also like we're having out here today. Basically how it works is there are two radio transmitters on the ground that send out pulses on a specific frequency that you tune the aircraft to, and it sends data to the aircraft uh, for heading to line you up with the runway and for the glide slope to help to guide you down on the right path to landing. Now to up this challenge, I've only given myself a thousand pounds of fuel because for some odd reason I'm bit of a masochist and I like to learn under incredible amounts of pressure. The stakes are high, so enough screwing around. Let's do this. All right, so I've flown out over the ocean a little bit. First thing we're going to do is get turned around and get headed back towards the airfield, which I do believe is about a 180 from where I am. I'm just going to head back north. I'm trying to keep my throttle low. Uh, I really don't have a lot of fuel. Just under a thousand pounds now. So we don't got a lot to work with. Right, I'm gonna try to stay around 5,000 feet just because there is some terrain on the approach and obviously we're not gonna be able to see it through all this thick fog and clouds and whatnot. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my Autopilot altitude, we're going to set that to 5,000. Have the aircraft hold that for us while I get this set up. First thing we got to do is call air traffic control and request landing. Going down to Akutan. Bravo, 1-1, one, one. tower, copy. Fly heading 036. You can expect runway 02, right. 036. This will get us in the general direction of the airport. Next thing we got to do in the uh, in the comms panel, look at the airport info. This will give us our uh, our ILS. He said runway 02 right, so our ILS frequency is going to be 105.8. We hit the ILS button up here. 105.8. Enter. Now you can see down here on our horizontal situation indicator. A series of lines. We've got one for our glide slope and then we've got one for our alignment which is way over here. If the line is to the right it means we gotta go to the right and if the line is above it means we gotta go above. We actually might be... doesn't make sense. We we might actually be too far out to capture the ILS. Saying we're 19 miles out yet so we're, we still got a ways to go. Here we go. Now we're capturing the localizer. So the glide slope is coming in. We're still quite a bit off. I'm going to go ahead and take autopilot off and start flying the aircraft down. we got to get our speed under control. We're a little fast. I'm going to throttle back. Ooh, man, that was close. And bring her to the right. See, now we're, now we're high. we got to dip the nose a little bit. We, when we pass about 10 nautical miles, I'm going to configure the aircraft for landing. Probably going to take flaps one and just to slow us down a little bit. Okay, now we're low. Still got to go to the right. Still saying we got to go to the right. Now we're low. I know in these situations you want to look out the window, it's your first instinct, but you can't trust your eyes when it's visibility is so incredibly poor, you just gotta, gotta trust the instruments. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. The nose up a little bit, we are low, yeah we're losing altitude too fast. And we still haven't captured the localizer for the runway. Oh, 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 we still gotta go right. We're way off alignment here. And 
We are getting close. 10 nautical miles. I'm going to take flaps one. We are running low on fuel. We may only have one more chance at this if I, I botch this. So, Whew, the pressure is on. All right, glide slope is looking good. Still got to go to the right. Oh, here, here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming around now. Now we're getting lined up. How's our airspeed? 208. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Now we can start bringing her back. Just pretty rapidly. I'm going to be about north. This arrow here at the top uh, points directly towards directly towards the uh, the actual runway. Well, we're going to overshoot. And we're high now. Cut the throttle a little bit. Very high now. Gotta go a bit. Left. Okay, okay. I'm gonna lower the gear. Seven nautical miles out. Still high. Now we're losing too much speed, I think. Tiny bit of throttle. Bring the nose down. Ooh, not too much though. You want to not bring the nose down too much on landing because you're going to gain speed. Bravo, 1-1, one, one, tower, clear to land at runway 0-2, right. A little off. I drop the nose. Come back right, drop the nose. Now we're low, now we're getting called low. Four nautical miles. AOA is almost spot on. A little power. Oh yeah, we're low, we gotta come up. And a little bit to the right. Gotta go left slightly. I think the airfield's coming into view now. Oh, we're too fast. That's what's going on. Shut up, Master Caution. I know. This is stressful. I'm trying to instrument land, and I've never done it before. This is a new experience for me. Okay, yeah, there's the airfield. Look at that. Instruments brought us right here. Now it's just a matter of using the throttle to get our angle of attack just so. of fuel to spare. Not too bad. Just a quick little video for you. Trust your instruments. The ILS will bring you down when you're in awful weather like this. Welcome back. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. Let's get this bad Johnson parked and we'll call it a day. Think of fuel. You don't say. enjoy this lovely weather while we have the chance. Right, so that was a basic ILS landing. Pretty cut and dried. Pretty simple little video. Uh, if you guys have any questions on the ILS landing, please let me know down in the comments. I'd be glad to help you out. It's 
It seems pretty straightforward to me, really, though. But, you, know, you never know. Somebody might come up with something I haven't thought of. Uh, you may have been wondering. You can see all this beautiful, glistening rain on the canopy. That's the Rainy Rain mod. I really like this a lot. This is the first time trying it out today. I thought it would add a little extra flair to the to the video in this stormy weather. I like it a lot. Uh, huge, huge uh, shout out to the creator of that. But, yeah. Not much to say, really. LS landings. They're good. They work. Trust your instruments, kids. Your eyes will lie to you in these situations. Best way you can help support the channel is by leaving a like, a comment, and especially subscribing. That way you don't miss any upcoming VTOL VR videos. So that's it for today. As always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me, and I hope to see you all up there in that wild blue yonder. C-Mag, out.